Get your popcorn ready, it's gonna be a Metal Gear Solid 5 movie. What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and welcome to MGS5 The Phantom Pain. This one has been long awaited, much anticipated, and finally Kojima drops the bomb and unleashes one more tactical espionage operations epoch upon us all. If you are pumped and excited for this one, definitely smash that like button and let me know in the comments down below who your favorite character across the MGS franchise is. I will be giving away a copy of this game game on any platform of your choice, PS4, Xbox One, 360, PS3, or PC to a lucky fan. All you gotta do is like the video and let me know in the comments your favorite character. I'll pick someone in a couple days, get you the game, get you going on what is promised to be one of the biggest and boldest stealth action games of all time. And most exciting of all, I have news, and that news is that finally... After much delay and a whole lot of curation and love, I'm ready to launch my brand new channel. It's coming today, and as soon as it is up, you will see a link appear in an annotation on this video and down in the description below. I encourage you to go and check it out. I think a lot of you will have fun over there as well, and I hope to see some of you. And just, I'm making this thing super long as a big thank you. We've been doing this for four and a half years now, and I could not be more grateful to you guys, the fans, whether you're an OG 2010 fan or a brand new 2015 fan. I love you, and I cannot believe how incredible you have made this adventure and this entire journey that we share together. And thank you, thank you for making Ghost Robo a place full of smiles, laughter, and play where we can all come and enjoy games and life in general. Fun stuff, good stuff, bad stuff, all the stuff together. It's really special to me. I hope it's special to you. And so I'm giving you a Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain movie as the first video. So like I said, grab that popcorn, make some hot chocolate, bundle up, and get ready for insanity. I've heard this thing gets crazy real, real quick. So we will begin without further ado. Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain begins right about now. Tower, do you read? Shit, comms are down. Looking around here, it's a little bit blurry. Next gen graphics taking on a new meaning here. And MGS5, Kiefer Sutherland, Troy Baker. The cast is introduced. We are blinking heavy. This music is quite epic and incredibly strange. I'm not even sure what is going on. We're like in a hospital here. We got a cassette tape from the man who sold the world. 
Is that him? Am I just supposed to listen to this song? <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, it wouldn't be Metal Gear if it wasn't completely kooky, would it? Oh boy, I hope you have a lot of popcorn, by the way, because from what I hear, the beginning of this game is long, which fits perfectly for our, uh, our epic video here. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. This is the greatest. Oh, Doctor! Nurse! Clarity, I can see you now. Sorta. Kinda. Whoa. Nurses everywhere. What happened to me? Someone tell me what happened. I just wanna know. Was it Drake or was it Nikki who really stole my flow? His head is like really like swivelly by the way. Hello? Oh, someone. Someone there's a shadow. But they're not anywhere to be found. Oh, another nurse. Flowers? Who sent those? It's like so awkwardly silent here. Say something, you're freaking me out! Give us a By the way, we will turn subtitles on as soon as we can. There's just no option at this point. <laughs> Alright then. I like it. V has come to. V has come to. Baby, we get our title screen finally. And now we can go in and turn on those subtitles. V has come to. That must be us. Uh, subtitle display. On, baby. Apply those settings, changes. And let's get on with the actual game. Hospitals are a scary place, but hopefully we can sneak our way out and find out what this crazy game, this fifth mainline Metal Gear, is all about. Who is me? Kuzme. Can you hear me? Are you having difficulty speaking? Can you move your head? Yes, these graphics are so good, I'm in shock. <laughs> Just nod uh -huh. if you can hear me. Yes, doctor. I can hear you. Look up, please. Okay. Very good. How do you feel now? Can you speak? What is your name? When were you born? Can you recall? To your name. Only alphabet characters and characters with certain diacritical marks can be used. Don't know what diacritical means, but all right, my birthday. In case you didn't know, is the same day as the lovely Miss Swift, December 13. And uh, I guess I'll name myself Ghost. Right? I could be Snake. I'll just be Snake. <laughs> snake. I was gonna be Ghost, but it's too perfect. Even though technically, I'm not even gonna get to the technicalities of this. Let's just be Snake. 
and set things off straight. December 13th, rise and shine, Mr. Master. Good. Now then. Please try to relax. There is plenty of time. I need to tell you something. Please listen and try not to panic. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes, I know you would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been nine years. Holy mackerel. Damn it! Nosokoma! 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 Nurse! Calm down. Calm down. Try not to panic. Wait a second. Try not to panic. You'll be all right. And now. Just rest. How do you feel? A little bit sleepy after nine years. A little bit stiff. A little bit anxious to get up and get it's out of here. It's been one week since you came too. Now, let's try getting you out of that bed. Nurse. Don't worry. You've lost some strength, but we've been maintaining your muscle mass through massages, CPM therapy, and EMS. Now, I need to explain something to you, but you must be alert. Nine years ago, you were injured in an explosion. Upon examination, we discovered 108 foreign bodies embedded within you. In addition to shrapnel, we also found fragments of human bone and human teeth. Ugh. Most of it was removed, but some of the fragments still remain. They are located near your heart and in your skull. Look at this. The, the fragments are lodged deep within your cerebral cortex. Holy crap. We couldn't give you an MRI, the metal you see. But even if we were to extract it, you would most likely suffer a brain hemorrhage. Mental and physical impairment are unavoidable. However, your current status is not life-threatening. One more thing. This X-ray is on your upper body. You better look now. Best to understand your situation sooner than later. The left hand. I know it's difficult, but please look down. The it's best to see with your own eyes. Left hand. Be brave. <laughs> <gasps> oh God! I've got one giant thumb. <laughs> Not the man we used to be. Another week, hopefully. Be a little more calm. A little more assured. Maybe we can actually get up and get going. It's true. There are those who wish you would never woken up. You should be dead. But you're not. The wheels are in motion. Your enemies are everywhere. We must alter your appearance immediately. Otherwise, I fear you won't leave this place alive. It's a wide open world out there. 
So there's something we need to take care of first. I'm going to change your appearance. We have no other choice. What you look like, however... However, do we get to pick what we look like in this game? Is there a, oh my god, there's like freaking character <laughs> creation. I had no idea this was even in here. They've kept some good stuff under wraps. Maybe I just missed it. But I think, uh, oh my, we can be totally different. This guy, I kind of like that guy at the bottom right. I mean, we could be an old man. That would probably be the most fitting. Uh, I like this guy. We'll go with this dude. You can change the hairstyle. It's pretty impressive. There's only four hairstyles? Okay, well. This one it is then. <laughs> Eyebrow style. I'll try to make this quick so we can get on with the game. Not straight across. Not really bushy eyebrows. Not those eyebrows. We'll go with these ones. Facial hair. Mutton shops. This spooky goatee. I think we'll go with the full on uh, beard goatee. Oh man. We can be super grizzled. I think we'll go there. Hair color. So it's pretty limited in what you can do, but it's cool that they even gave us the option. Blonde hair, brown hair, red hair. Kind of like the evil blonde hair. Alright. Change his brow. Oh man. Okay, so you can get pretty detailed with this, but I'm not even going to mess with all that stuff. I'm going to let them say what's right. I trust them more than me. <laughs> eyes, though. Droopy eyes, open eyes, a little more open eyes. Wicked eyes. I like those. Space out. Okay, that just looks too weird. I can't do that. Oh, right eye color can be different than the, re the left. Oh, my God. That, look, we could do this. That's freaking scary. Okay, we're like freaking demonic. One red, one like that. I kind of want to go with the spooky eyes. I think that's just good for this game. There we go. Now we kind of look like a demonic man of not much noise and a whole lot of movement as we work our way through this world. I like how it's like it's a big open world. We can make our nose more prominent. <laughs> it's got a very weird nose. Yes, master. I'm forming the perfect nose for stealth mastery. We do not want to give him a bird nose. Um, noses are a weird thing. Okay. Shrink that nose tip. Don't drop your nostrils. All right. My psycho killer is almost ready for work. A little bit gone after spending nine years in the hospital. Okay, good. Oh, there's presets for the mouth. Nice. I like that. I didn't even know that was a thing. Should give him some nice lips. Mm, kissy lips. Those lips. Those ones. Sad lips. Very sad. Very sad. I want to go with uh... <laughs> those ones, I guess. Oh, no. Yeah, that's fine. It nullifies all things for that category. Uh -huh. Oh, man, I like, the, I like, I can make him like a crazy killer here. This one, beautiful. You can change skin color and give him wrinkles. This is quite cool. I think that's what we had. Oh, oh my God, like old decrepit man. I like young man. Or that young. That one. Sweet. 
Oh, yes, we get scars and tattoos. Guns on his chin. That is the... Don't do that. Or don't do this one. Birdman. Birdman, Birdman. Now I feel like Lil Wayne as we get, like, all these bullet marks on the side of our face. We have to go with something. We gotta give him something. Oh, my God, there's white tattoos as well. Holy crap. Camo face. Demon man. Oh, my God. I kind of like this snake scar. That's, like, vicious. It's like a tear scar. It'll be like the man with the tear scar. Or should we go with a really creepy tattoo? The bird... Oh, I like that one. That makes us look really demonic. Are there presets for the hair? No. Okay. I like our guy. Should we make the tattoo white, though? What is this tattoo looking white? I kind of like it in white. It looks even spookier. But we'll stick out more. Maybe we should go with a blend. A healthier blend, you think? Yeah, that looks pretty freaking awesome. I like it. I'm ready. You guys ready? This is our snake. And it's time to put him through the paces of the Phantom Brain. Very good. Now, let's remove these bandages. Hmm, your face has healed nicely. To tell you the truth, these bandages were more for your protection. To hide you from those who want you dead. As of today, your name is Ahab. Okay. Forget everything. <gasps> your name, your past. was that? Maybe I'm not even Snake. What is going on? Maybe I am? Maybe I'm not? Who was that in the background? That took the nurse. <gasps> this is you, as you've lived until this day. Oh, I definitely am Snake, okay. <laughs> Tomorrow, it becomes... Phantom. <gasps> Holy crap! Oh my god! Is that like a fake character creator? Am I never gonna get that plastic surgery? The switch won't be made? If they seriously did a fake you out character creator, that's absolutely- Not yet. The patient in an expat's on my face. Absolutely of brilliant. Course. Consider it done. guy has no face. She has no chill. Uh, <laughs> flinging bed pants. Uh oh. Holy crap. 
The doctor got choked. That guy got knifed. And she's on freaking fire! And I'm a robot. Captain Hook. Metal Gear Edition. Okay, have time to go. What, what, what happened to the woman? The woman? I... We gave her a light. She took the short way down. Who are you? Who am I? You're talking to yourself. Been watching over you for nine years. You can call me Ismail. What the hell is going on? Well, the good news is, here in the land of the living. Bad news? A world wants you to On your feet, soldier. The whole place is coming down. Need a little pick-me-up? Okay. Here. No. Oh. Nothing like a little digoxin to get you back in the game. Come on! Oh gosh. Well, that pick me up didn't really pick me up. More like put me down here at the Memorial Hospital in Cyprus, 1984. Awkward crawl. Reminds me of the, uh. Oh god. The microwave tunnel in four. Come on! Let's go! I cannot believe they just did like a legit fake character creator. <laughs> That's so magical. If I was a game designer, I would do all sorts of stuff like that. Kojima, you're a boss. A big boss. If you know what I'm saying. Ishmael, give me your freaking ship to ride down this staircase. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Can I have a whale? Where's Moby Dick when you need him? Just to sit on board and ride down the freaking staircase. <laughs> okay, this is so Metal Gear. Dragging along with my claw and my courage. Game looks actually super duper good. I was worried about the graphics. What with it being... That's his butt, by the way. And it's also very Metal Gear. Um, I was worried about the graphics with being cross-gen, but I don't think there's any worries anymore. Okay. Oh, God! Why'd they cover everything in mayonnaise, man? Slippery as a box of sardines. The game is, quote, open world because Snake is so slow. <laughs> What if the entire game took place in this hospital and they just called it open world because it took you literally 20 minutes to get from one end to the other? Like a giant open world. Uh, he must be in some messed up condition to be moving like this, slug style. Hopefully we'll have a better appreciation for the bug dwellers, baby. Hey, Ab and Ishmael. Sailing the seas of pain. I've got shrapnel and teeth in my brain, apparently. <gasps> okay. What? What the hell is that? Yeah. Okay. A flying girl with seatbelts for hands. And she just elevated through the elevator ceiling. Okay. Whoa. As if my injuries weren't bad enough already. And Nishmal is burning to death. Nishmal! You were a good man. Served your purpose well. Oh god. What is this? Is this Final Fantasy or Metal Gear? This guy has like a glowing head. 
Okay. Who the heck is this? Thank God for sprinklers. Crawling after that boom shakalaka, a floating redhead, and a guy who was literally completely flame covered, fierce, feistiness. Okay, <laughs> I feel like a freaking tuna. I'm just splatting across <laughs> the floor. Ugh. My right arm's totally broken. Why doesn't he help drag me? Hey, it's ground zeroes. Oh, oh, <gasps> whoa! Gain our balance. We haven't walked in nine years. It would be hard for you too. Good, let's hurry. All right. We're like a hunchback now. I can still see his butt. Don't look at his butt. Why do we have to look at his butt? Ow. Incoming. Let's go. All right, at least I can move a little bit. Well, not really. There we go. All right, I've got my crouch back on. This way, hurry. Okay, you lead the way, Ishmael. I'll follow you. People are here. Keep low and quiet. Okay. Just when we're able to stand, we're back to the crawl. See how it is, game. See how it is. <laughs> They're messing with our minds. Give you control and then rip it right back away. Help me, please. Ooh, that's one kind of help. Not the kind I would want, but Ishmael's got my back. Oh god. What are they gonna do to him? <gasps> oh. oh my god, he's still alive? Ooh. Gross! Uh-oh. We didn't get caught. Sorry that you had to get caught for us to not. Ishmael, can we go? Let's move. Yeah. Get me the heck out of here. I'm sorry, bloody Benny. See you in another lifetime. 
I do not think that's the saving kind of ship. Holy freaking holy. They're so holy. Why'd you make them holy? <laughs> this is one messed up hospital. Okay. I'm sorry, people. You've been graded up like cheese. What? Action. Approach an obstacle such as a wall head on to hug the obstacle and conceal yourself. This is being called being. Okay, so you just approach cover, that's good. Oh god, it's been spotted and massacred. Alright, well. Don't you die on me. <laughs> Heshmel, the deed has been done. My brain. It's no longer fun with teeth inside. Time to walk. Alright. Let's try this again. Let's just follow Don't Ahab. No searchlights. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna follow you, buddy. Now! I'm going. <gasps> Who's that? He's gonna get shot. Yo! Golly goodness! Uh oh, SpaghettiOs, let's get out of here! At least Snake's got his mobility back. Oh. Closing it already. Move, go. Let's go, boys. We gotta find our killer whale before it's too late. I'm running. Let's go, Ahab. I'm taking off. We're just gonna keep going down. Somebody just got turned into jelly. I don't want to be their peanut butter. Maybe we should wait for Ahab before we advance. They're guards. I hear. Movement. Ahab, where'd you go, brother? There you are. Where are we headed? Shit. What? Okay, okay. Now what? Uh oh. This way. I'm a Come on. Let us through. Thank you. Good thing we didn't rush down there all the way. Ah, slow and steady wins the race. Oh, what's happening out there? It's all right. We'll be okay. I can't see what's happening. Okay, let's work our way that? through the crowd, maybe. What's going on out there? It's okay. Yeah. You gotta see what's happening. Something's going on outside. What could it be? Could it be weirder than seatbelt arms? With the spicy hair? Trying to get through, lady. Butts! Why are we looking at butts? Ahab. Oh, baby. Oh! Oh, my God. Move! Oh, my God. It's a bloodbath, literally. Oh, God. Good. That wasn't Ishmael with the butt. It was a different butt.
Back to Slytherin. We are a snake after all. I feel like a Muppet baby trying to hide from the mean adults as I slowly sneak underneath these bed cot things. Where we gotta go? Ishmael! Here they come. I hope I'm covered up. No! Oh, Jesus. Ishmael! Killing everyone, but don't kill me, baby. Oh my god! Back under the bed. I think we survived. Whew. This is spooky. Ooh. Whoa, it's the Saran Wrap monster. I never thought I'd see him in real life. Look at Snake over there. Big boss, whatever you want to call him. Ahab, I guess, right, right? Okay, I'm back in control. I guess we gotta get out of this room. You're gonna. Your friend is gonna get got, Ishmael. Oh gosh, luckily he didn't leave that spot. And now the guards are bailing. Whew. That was a close encounter. Anything? Negative. He came in here. Keep looking. Oh, they're looking for me. I know it. I can't move yet, all I can do is turn my head. There we go. Let's go. This way. I know, Let's that's what you said down. last time. Blend in with the bodies. Get down on your stomach and crawl. Okay. Oh, ah. I'm sorry, Ishmael. I should have listened to you the first time. I didn't mean to stand up like that, these people. Oh my god. A really psycho baby went ham with the red markers. Everybody's covered in Crayola. No, Snake, if you're gonna play dead, you gotta be still. Don't even move a muscle. Especially not the one called your head. Oh my god, they're kill checking every body. This is not gonna go good. Holy crap. What are we supposed to do? We're gonna die. No freaking way. That's like lottery level luck right there. Freaking peeing himself. Only in Metal Gear. We've already said that like five times this video. Or maybe it's just a leak? I hope it's just a leak. <laughs> it could be either or both. Don't move your head! You gotta play dead! Oh, 
Oh, dude. Flaming seatbelt chick is back. And here comes the demon man. He must be her master or something. every attack from the evil flame man do missiles make this guy mad indeed they do he sure didn't melt he's got more fury How would we ever fight this dude? Glad's on fire and gives me the creeps. Not sure that's gonna do anything, Ishmael. Sorry to say. Oh, water, the sprinkler, shoot it. Thinking. It's like a Pokemon battle. Water beats fire. Sayonara, steam sucker. Peace. Well then. Pretty quick, man. Serious injury solved in under six seconds. I don't got a weapon yet, so we're just gonna ride shotgun by an Ishmael. We'll have to take the stairs down. Okay. I don't know what's going on with all this wigwam wizardry. All up in the beginning of the Phantom Pain, or the fake character creator, or the fact that the whole first floor is on flame. I'm already ahead of you. But if you want me to... He's like really determined to be the squad leader here. And that's his squad goal. So, uh... He doesn't even care who's in his squad as long as he's the leader. I'll just follow him. <sighs> oh, crap. I should probably... Whoa! Way to drop it like it's hot, Ishmael. You're way loud, buddy. Can I take his gun? <gasps> Holy crap. Know how to shoot a gun? Hold down the aim button to aim. Then press the attack button to fire. Destroy it. Okay, fire extinguisher, baby. 
Shoot, aim, fire. There we go. Look at that new new nozzle. Straight out of Teletubbies. Oh, we can go first person. Nice. All right. Let's get out of here. Hold up. Okay. I'll take the right. You take the left. Ow. Can you stop hitting me? Oh wow. That guy's not dead. I'm out of batteries? What does that mean, I'm out of batteries? What? Or he can't be hit there, I guess? Oh, I think that's what it was. Alright. I was about to say, like, how, why is this gun out of batteries? There we go. You gonna kill this guy, or am I gonna do it for you? Lamo. I thought you were taking the right. <laughs> All right, what is reloading? Uh, pressing the reload button lets you reload despite having ammunition left. It's weird because it's like context sensitive on the touchpad. I have to press it down at the bottom left. Shooting feels good though. You do the shoulder swap thing based on the scenario. And the cover is cool. Very context sensitive. I like the mechanics so far. The story is madness so far. Everything is good so far. My name is Ahab so far. We got a freaking bait and switch character creator so far. Flying fire chick so far. Spooky satanic demons so far? I don't even know what waits ahead. Ishmael going all Matrix on us. You get a stealth kill on this guy, maybe? No? Shot baby. I am the beast. Feed me evil. Feed me the beast. Oh god. Search the area. Where are they at? Ah! No! Drop it like it. Oh god. Gotcha with the headshot, golden. Where am I trying to go? Everything's on fire. I don't even know. 360 spin move. They're up top. This is not good. I think I lost them. They're definitely searching for me. Maybe I should go see if Ishmael made it. Oh God. Where is this guy? Oh, I see him. Thinks he's so cool over there. You can't shoot through my couch. This is my comfy space. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Ishmael, where'd you go? Oh, I gotta go outside. Run for it, Snakey. <gasps> Ishmael. Who is 
is she? It's like Carrot Top Fuse with David Blaine. God, he's back. attack was that? We better get on the move. Um, let's go follow Ishmael. Actually, we're kind of locked in here. Back. Um. Quick dive. Look at that! In comes a helicopter and a tank. Move in! Go, go, go! Both of them in the same battle? Looks like we've never fought a flyer before. Mega tank busted him out of his miserable existence. I don't know, but at least we can exit the place. So I try to grind the wheels all amongst his body parts. I think that's the end of that life. <laughs> what the heck? I, I, I'm speechless so far. So freaking speechless. What are you feeling right now? It's like an insane nightmare. It's that crazy. Giant flying man, girl thing, giant flaming man, demon, tanks flying through the walls, bandaged people named Ishmael saving us. He's still alive. 
shoot him? Die? Oh my god, this guy. Oh god. He's got a big tummy. Boom! Somebody called 911. At least we stunned him a little bit. Get in! Of the opening scene of The Last of Us. Except, I think this guy's scarier than Cordyceps. <laughs> oh my god! He's flinging fire trucks at us and people! Oh my god! Ishmael, my brother. Holy crap, one hand driving in the passenger seat. This isn't awkward at all. And now we're gonna get hit with the rocket. Takes out the tunnel. <gasps> Barricade! Hadouken! Snake is not having a good day. He is just having a rough one. A rough nine years, it seems like. Everywhere. Moby Dick, he's come to save us. Or maybe he's not here to save us. Did the well join the other team? Ahab, now there's a freaking flaming unicorn! What? And the demon man is riding it with the seatbelt girl. This is the weirdest opening hour of a video game I ever did see. Get on! I'm on your side! Hurry! Hurry! Our savior showed up. Use this. Watch oh our God. Backs. Shoot him! Die, flaming demon! Burn. Die, my little pony of. Fire edition. Careful, I can tell. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Okay. Okay. Freaking trying. Flaming horse. 
Ugh. Oh. doesn't quit. How many shots does this thing take? Also, why is he making bird noises? Alright. I think we're good for now as I reload with my robo arm. And here comes the unicorn flaming down the lane. He's in second place chasing after Snake and Savior in first, leading by two furlongs. Here comes the flaming demon horse. And we're shooting him with a shotgun to keep him at bay. We'll reload with our robot arm because that animation makes my day. <laughs> oh, this is so freaking epic. It's like Last of Us meets Red Dead Redemption meets My Bad Dreams meets Moby Dick meets My Little Pony all in one. Plus robots, plus guns, plus dudes with sweet beards. Plus Magic Men, Final Fantasy, Dragon Age, basically everything. I think we slowed him down. Whew. Or not. Oh my god. Uh, fire again. Back. Took a shortcut. This isn't Mario Kart. What do you see? The freaking... Okay, you're gonna jump in the water. That's a good idea. Especially since he's like bull rushing right now. Go, jump in! <gasps> Get in that water, baby! Take this psychopath for a swim! It doesn't get any worse. It doesn't get any better. It just gets bad. I'm a codenamed chick with a rank A here. As we zoom our way through episode zero, the prologue awakening. Lost a little bit with the enemy alert, a little bit with some hits taken, but overall scored a whopping 114,942 points, which I'm pretty darn happy with. And I think that serves as a great place to conclude our first episode of Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. This is episode one, completing episode zero for all sorts of numerical non-synergy. But the synergy here is that it's a great, big, bold new AAA game. You got a great, big, bold, hour-long movie episode. You're getting a great, big, bold new channel coming very soon later today from me and you're gonna get a great big bold part two coming your way soon make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment if you'd like to be entered to win a copy of this game for yourself thank you so much as always for being a fan for being a viewer for being a person and thank you so much for choosing to watch the game here with me i think it's gonna be fun i'm super excited to see where this giant killer flame whale and the freaking demon man and the floating girl with red hair. Where they take us and what all happens. The characters we meet, the quests we embark upon, the weapons and wonder we accomplish via combat. It should be a good show. And I can't wait for more. Until that time, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed your popcorn and cocoa, your blankets and your headphones. Drink some more hot chocolate. You're going to need it. This is a long one. Till next time, thanks again. We will see you all. Later.